uh, as 300, zero, just creating one. And for cone, what, what I need, I need just a line segment, right? So I can create 00, zero. Uh, let's just put height edge because then it will create my uh, slider. Whenever I use a, a alphabet, then it will be helping out creating a slider. I can create a segment. Sorry, rename, no. Segment points are A and B, done. Now, in order to, first of all, let's rotate it. So, but when you rotate, it will ask you the angle and axis of rotation. So if you just enter one angle, let me show you, object is my F, angle can be in pi or in degrees that you can decide, but if you enter in pi, pi format, it will recognize quickly because if you want to enter in degrees and uh, you need to change the settings. So I'm just entering pi over three here. And instead of point, I'm entering Z axis. Have a look. So I have a rotation of that particular segment by 60 degree. And, uh, but I don't want to fix it. So the solution is let's create a slider. So I'm going to create a slider for this. Let me just delete this because I don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. I'm going to delete them for that. I'm going to create a slider again. So just type anything. Let's say for A and G, I'm representing angle equals type a number, right? If you are thinking of making it 360 degree something, definitely you can go ahead. But uh, for now, I'm just entering 6.5 so that it can cover 2 pi. And later I can change its settings. Go here and go to slider angle. Minimum can be 0. Maximum can be 2 pi. Sorry, it's considering renaming 2 pi. If you just type 2 pi, it will consider. And here you can uh, enter. Let me just put extra two decimals. I'll tell you the reason. And here you can put the, the increment so that it becomes smooth. Now let's rotate. So rotate object, which is F angle, which is my A and G, which is I have defined as a slider point instead of point. I'm going to use Z axis in order to type Z axis type lowercase Z and A capital X I S. Now you just play with the angle slider. Have a look. So you have, you're rotating it. Of course, you can create a triangle if you think which we didn't do. Let's create that. Let me just create a polygon. Polygon, click on point. My first point can be 0, 0, 0. Second point can be, uh, I think that is A. So if you are entering letter, then do not enter in brackets. But if you are entering the coordinates, then definitely use this. Okay, let me just put B, right? And my polygon is ready. <clears throat> so my triangle is ready. And instead of rotating uh, uh, only a segment, let's rotate the whole triangle. So the rotation command got deleted. So I'm going to type it again. Rotate. Uh, it's T1, which is defined all automatically. Angle is A and G and Z axis. Have a look. Now we have a triangle which is rotating. So rotation is happening, but we were not able to see the, the surface which should be created here. So for that, there is one very special command in GeoGebra. Just type surface. You will see three options. Choose the middle one because we have angle here and line. here. The curve will be my T1. In some cases, it may not recognize. I'll, I'll tell you the solution for that. Uh, a and G angle and then line again, Z axis. Yeah, it worked very well for us. And what I can do, I can just uh, play with my slider to create 
a cone. Have a look. So my cone is ready. Uh, because angle is more than 6.28, that's why it is coming extra. Look at this. And if you want to see the cone without the wireframes, please click on the settings of surface. And go to style, make this line thickness zero, speed, that's okay, no problem. Color you can definitely change. And here you go. So you have a, a better cone, which you can create easily. And you can see it. Have a look. It is a definitely a hollow cone. But if you want to hide it, what you can do, you go to triangle, which is the rotation part. And click here. Maybe the rotation one, sorry. Click here. Go to settings. Change its opacity to 100 so that you don't see that it is not a solid. Look at this. Now it is coming out like that and you have your cone ready so this way you can actually uh, let me just change the height look at this we are changing the height i think okay yeah b is changing maybe it's not uh, sinking uh, don't know what's the reason but anyways this should not disturb yeah so this way you can manipulate and create any other things also. What we can do, instead of creating the triangle, let me just create another sort of polygon here. Uh, I'm just gonna change T1. So 0, 0, 0, A. Uh, before I come to B, let's say, I want to go to uh, X of A, which is, I think, three yes three comma zero comma half of my height and then i will go to b so it will be my different type of polygon and height let's set for six have a look without doing many things we have created a composed solid right because of our polygon everything is happening because of the polygon look so this polygon is not a triangle anymore that's why the solid is different so when we change it it is gonna create uh, a different solid a cylinder and a cone so this way you can play around and everything is happening just because of the polygon, as I said earlier. Uh, what I did, I, ju I just created another polygon, which is not a triangle. So I entered one line here, 1.30H over 2, because I wanted to consider the value of X of same as of A and Y coordinate 0. And height, I was considering height of half of B. So this way you can actually manipulate. Let me just do it half, one third. Look at this. So it's a tent, right? So it's a storage tank, you can say. Now the cross section of its surface, actually it is a polygon, which is not a triangle anymore. It is kind of a, a trapezium kind of a shape. So this way you can manipulate. This is one way of doing it. And other way was, let me just save it in case anyone need it. Please let me know, otherwise I will not save it. Cone plus two solids. So rotation is happening. Uh, you can definitely reflect also. I forgot to tell you, this reflection command also will work. Reflect anything you can reflect, right? Let's reflect this whole solid. Now this whole solid is actually a uh, naming as C. So I'm gonna just type C. And here you can type the line, let's say X axis. Look at this. 
it got reflected from x axis the whole shape the whole shape got reflected why we are not able to see it because uh, it's not taking the values look at this when i zoom in or out i can see what is happening so see the reflection can also work it can create another replica uh, on that anything which you want if you change it to y you can just play around because that's something which you should sorry i didn't check the message yes so so yeah reflection can also be used uh, to create different type of solids from one because from one you can create many right you can also reflect particular polygon also i think that polygon was t1 so reflect t1 uh, with point a look at this if i only reflect t1 with point a where that solid has gone or you you may add here this value x axis because that you can see easily y axis also it is on the other side so reflection is again a good command which can be used look at this so the reflection is happening and and if you want to have a, a rotation of that surface also that can also happen so yeah you can use this command not only for polygons but also for other things let me show you sorry uh, for other functions uh, yeah guys we have hardly five seven minutes if you have concerns and questions please do ask let me just type another function here because uh, uh, it's not only for the polygons but from the graph also you can create i'm gonna type sine x sine 2x or sine x over 2 okay but i don't want to consider the whole curve what i can do maybe this i can tell you later but you, i'm just using the if command for values of x sine x over 2 i'm just using sine x over 2 uh, let's do for 0 to 4 pi so i have my curve ready look at this my curve is on x y plane right now but i want to rotate it in the same manner as we have created the surfaces so i'm going to use the surface command surface again the curve is p which is defined angle is a and g which we have defined already now you can play around with z axis x axis or y axis so let's go ahead with z axis have a look we have created a disk let me just show you the angle have a look actually it is nothing it is a circular disk because of the points uh, lying on the sine curve that's why it is coming in a different fashion but when we change this z to y look at this we got a vertical thing for that right because now we can see uh, the curve is not a straight line so we should have a, a, a the top things and the bottom things in a different way uh, the angle is not actually too pi so we can cover it so you can have a, uh, just putting the home uh, settings look at this so again it's like a different type of a solid if you see from top and if you change to x-axis then you will have uh, something which you could see on my screen earlier when i started the session look at this so now it is only rotating about x-axis look at this what we can do just to change the height i am just multiplying a sign i just used so that we can see something different mathematically that was now look at this the height i have changed for sign now we can see a better solid 
look at this so we have a different solids so this way you can create anything uh, if you change in here something let's say you don't like sine curves you like something square root of x let's say just checking the chat please look at this now we got a parabola uh, a ball right which can be controlled using this we can click on the home or we can control the values because the values are so high for x let me just change to three Sorry, we should have deleted pi also. Look at this. Now the values are not from 0 to 2, 4 pi. Now it, it is showing a better solid. And just do this, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So please. If you have any concern, uh, this was something basics on in 3D. And uh, let me just stop recording.